but let's begin let's see what's coming your way and we do have the six of pentacles and the lovers in reverse so some unreciprocated love becomes reciprocated here right six of pentacles is quite an energy of i am giving back i love you back or that kind of energy you know i want to bring to the table exactly the things and the energies you bring the lovers in reverse and the four of pentacles well actually they hold on to you and they don't want to lose you right that's a four of pentacles of course they might be guarded you know is somebody stepping back and saying you know i you know i'm i might allow some time and space uh, but at the end of the day four of pentacles is cancer i will not let you go baby so the lovers in reverse with the five of pentacles in reverse that was rejection and now they are um, actually doing something about it, right it's opening lines of communication again coming closer lovers in reverse with the five of cups in reverse again overwhelmed by emotions and they want to take action it's the energy of course of missing and longing now let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall um, energy at this time the most important one and what do we have we do have the knight of wands cancer might be might be a sagittarius in your life right um and somebody at this point eight of cups in reverse the knight of wands aries leo sagittarius um and the eight of cups in reverse somebody walked away was in um in kind of in action mode probably not no uh, communication either with the page of wands in reverse and now the eight of cups is all about i want back I thought the grass is was greener on the other side. Eight of Cups is kind of the energy of disappearing when everything was all right. It's like they had no reason to leave and yet they did. Uh, and you know, it's the energy of... <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, it's the energy of, but we have eight full cups. Where are you going, right? What, what, what more do you want? That's energy. And yet they left and um, and they were in, um, you know, in silent mode. Um, but it does look like somebody thought about, right? Emotionally disconnected and now they went back. So, but let's see before we jump to conclusions. So we have past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome. Ace of Wands in reverse, a delayed new beginning. Swear to God, is a lot of fire in this reading. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. All of them in reverse. It's like, you know how it feels? It feels like a very um, explosive kind of energy and then it stopped on in its tracks, right? Ace of Wands in reverse is we started something but it never went through. And there was a lot of sensuality and passion and then it was, you know... Um, a standstill of some sort we do have the empress this might be your energy um cancer this might be somebody intervening between you and your person this is the mother of your children the father of your children somebody significant and the whole connection came to a stall because of it two of pentacles in reverse wanting to take a chance um so cancer let's see how this ties up but boy we have a passionate person probably tied up behind the closed door behind some closed doors so that they cannot come quickly um so let's see in the past what do we have we do have the queen of cups in reverse and we do have the four of pentacles in reverse and you know how it feels um cancer it feels like um you had no chance uh, you had no choice but to let go right Four of Pentacles is the energy of holding on to a connection, a person, to that point that it prevents us from having an emotional fulfilling life. Ah, you show up here in reverse, upside down, emotionally overwhelmed. Um, that is a lot of sadness in letting go, right? That is um, Cups in reverse is about um, frustration and anger, but it's also about sadness and, and disappointment. And I feel that at the end of the day, it came, I mean, in your energy, right? You you knew at some point that you had to let go uh, for your own mental being, your own balance, um, you know, your own um, progress. Now, this person of yours, Eight of Pentacles with the King of Wands. Again, another 
confirmation that we are uh, picking up the energy of a fire sign and they might have been very focused on their work um, being a boss being a manager being somebody in a position of power uh, they were really focused on it's the energy of being focused on themselves too but it has a sense of because we have also the empress right and we have the energy of wands which is passion and career i kind of feel cancer that you might um you might have had um, really somebody in your energy focused on making money, learning, uh, honing a skill, and and um, and becoming right, uh, becoming the king of wands. And then mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the ten of wands in reverse and the death in reverse. Scorpio energy. But this is about putting the burdens down and still having kind of unfinished business, right? This is not ending a connection properly. Um, this is the energy of um, responsibilities. This is the energy of what have I done wrong? What have you done wrong? And at the end of the day, ending something uh, just for the sake of the release of it. Okay. Um, that's um, the energy we are uh, picking up. It's like, you know, when it became too much and I kind of feel cancer. It was you were more you dropping the ball. But of course, you take whatever... You resonate with but we have somebody focused on their career on their pentacles on their money becoming someone and on your side it's like you know emotionally i'm not served i'm not um fulfilled so and we let go for um to make it a little bit easier um cancer where are we right now we do have the devil um capricorn energy and the nine of wands absolutely fighting temptation this is the energy of, this is not good for me. This is the energy of, he or she is not good for me. So I have to keep them away. Nine of Wands. I have to keep this away. I, um, you know, have to protect myself. This is way too toxic. And it's kind of, it's a continuation of, the, of your energy from the past where at some point we had to let go. At some point we had to accept, right? And allow and understand that, you know, if we go like this, we might not make it, you know, through the week. And I'm not talking like, I mean, I'm more sensing of, you know, being at ease and finally enjoying uh, your time. Now, this person of yours, um, at this time, they do have the death, Scorpio energy and the queen of swords in reverse. They think that this ending between the two of you is unfair and unjust and undeserved and painful and frustrating. Uh, queen of swords in reverse, I mean, swords in reverse in general, in tarot, they cut, right? Um, and somebody here is like, oh my God, you know, full of frustration. Um, but in the same time, it's a beautiful energy with the death, right? It's in the energy of transformation. It's the energy of, I'm going to, it's unfair, but I'm going to, I'm going to go through it. I'm going to find a way, you know? Um, and they might keep silent at this um, time. And, and that's all right, because uh, again, they might be very frustrated and quite angry it's the energy i'm picking up and it shows up in a context of the devil energy that you have on your side and they have the queen of swords which kind of speaks of a of um a, a sort of energy where we go against each other or we um get into that type of energy where we you know um you know i'm gonna do this and you're gonna do that and i'm gonna do this and so on and so forth Mutual energies between the two of you, six of wands and seven of pentacles in reverse. A lot of pride and a lot of impatience. A lot of pride and probably that's what, um, and you know how um, it feels, Cancer, it feels like that energy where um, we say to ourselves, like, you know, um, um, empowering um, affirmations, right? And it's, I deserve more. Um, you know, I deserve better. Um, you know, this was too toxic. I have to take my self-esteem back. I, I have to work uh, on bringing back my old me, you know. And I kind of feel both of you, you are uh, there. Um, Six of Wands is the energy of I have to take care of myself. I have to put myself first. It's all about me, right? And with the Seven of Pentacles, I don't have time for this, you know. Um... And it's kind of the energy right at the core of the reading, right? I, I don't have time for this. That's the seven of pentacles in reverse. I'm I'm not losing time here. There is no waiting to be had. And six of wands is look at me. I am the most important in this one. 
but it's it's a way of healing um no judgment there it's a way of dealing with things it's um it's a way of um recovering and and putting yourself back and it, it's interesting they are doing exactly the same so let's see energy is coming your way and we do have the queen of pentacles and the eight of wands of course we still have passion um we have things to say but eight of wands in reverse is stagnation when it comes to communication and queen of pentacles in reverse it's again this energy of not extending my much and feeling just a little bit like you know what for now i'm gonna keep my um silence um and not a lot of movement right we are in expectation mode for some of you this is guidance and the universe says with the eight of wands no don't do much about it. how about you how about you put yourself first in this situation and please do not nurture a situation that doesn't require nurturing from you. That's a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Um, now this person of yours, they do have the Page of Cups and they do have the Moon in reverse, which is Cancer energy, Pisces energy. Again, based on astrology, tarot, we know it's a debate there. Um, is it Cancer energy, the Moon? <laughs> is it the Pisces energy? But we do have the Moon in reverse and we have the Page of Cups. This is the energy of apologies, right? This is the energy of apologies and this is with the moon, the energy of revelation and the energy of breaking the silence with apologies. And guess what? The energy between the two of you, the Hierophant and the Magician, are you kidding me? Magic and commitment. I love this. Because you know what? You don't have to do much. They will do all the work. I mean, Hierophant is all about commitment, values, moral standards, contract, um, something solid and the magician is having all the tools and rushing to accomplish what needs to be accomplished and on your side it's do do not move a finger they want to do everything do not move a finger and the empress has the overall energy it's also somebody wanting to nurture and love after a period of stagnation and coming back eight of cups right i want to reconnect again that's eight of cups in reverse um, good. Cancer, let's ask for some guidance. And always the question is, should we say yay or nay? Now that we know what we know, and we know that was um, quite a painful ending. Well, guess what? The universe is asking you to listen to your heart. Listen with your heart, Cancer. You are listening but need to hear with a loving heart. So when it comes to this person, when it comes to this person, this relationship, um actually you are kind of listening without hearing right and the universe is asking you to really be open we do have the divine feminine so when it comes to this we need to act from a place of divine from a place of 5d 4d from a place of ascension from a place of class and grace we do have yin and yang oh yeah they complete you right yeah they are the one making it full energy and that is love in it yeah i believe we just got the green light um cancer right yin and yang and love we know this is soulmate bond we know this is true love we know they are your divine feminine divine masculine and it's really something inside of you that you need to uh, pay attention and listen to when it comes to this connection and you listen it, if somebody here is guided to um, listen to them because somebody here wants to talk and apologize um, cancer somebody wants to break their silence and maybe we might be in a reaction of of ego and believing that this might be toxic and blocking it's kind of like the guidance is well listen them out you know um, they want to apologize listen them out now let's see let's have the energies we want to put back into the flow speaking of ego it's it's right at the heart of the reading um so cancer surrender your ego cultivate gratitude be of service to others and come from the heart a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals what else we do have balance i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment so we need to bring balance into the flow again, especially the Divine Feminine, Surrender Ego. We have friendliness, 
you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So we, um, we complete each other, we have a strong bond also with combined with um, the energy of being friends, right? Lovers and friends. Um, so Cancer, surrender the idea that you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. And bottom of the deck, individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Yes to love, yes to yin and yang, but also yes to you being your unique, amazing self in the process. Um, oh my God, this is just beautiful, Cancer. I absolutely love this reading for you. And let's have some general guidance. Let's have only three. I don't know, I'm called to have three. And then we say goodbye. So what do we have? You are safe, Cancer. You are safe. Archangel Michael, I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. Just beautiful. So you are safe. What else? Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Beautiful. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. Kind of a confirmation, right? Uh, we are moving forward and absolutely open communication. That's exactly what, uh, what they want to bring. Uh, open communication and apologies. Um, so Cancer, get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. So for some of you, it's them communicating. For some of you, it's you. Um, you need to communicate something but in this reading is more on their side and you are guided on your side to be patient yeah open communication and apologies that's exactly what's coming there the, the energy they want they put forth page of cups with the moon in reverse um so hey cancer this is all that i have for you guys you know i love you i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time Love you. Take care.